Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sundering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 27th of April 2023. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in because we're going to be using a mini deck today. Which is Ellen Dugan's Witch's Tarot. So as you can see compared to my hands, this is a mini deck. The cards are pretty small. I will zoom in further as needed. Let's get your cards on the table first. Alright, my lovelies. I'm going to see if I can get you guys a little bit closer and pardon me while I change some lighting real quick. There we go. At least now hopefully you can see most of the cards without glare. I find this quite interesting. We have a, a large amount of Major Arcana uh, on this table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. <laughs> Which, considering we have 14 cards and half of them are Major Arcana, and so you get quite a few right in a row, uh, this is something very important. So um, sit up and pay attention real quick, if you would. I'd appreciate it. You might do yourself a service if you do. We have the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of the Year, which is the Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse, Justice, Karma, which is the Judgment card in this deck, the Moon, the Fool, the Two of Cups, the World, the Page of Swords, Temperance, the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Okay. Well. I, I have to say with the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of the Year in the Reverse, and Justice. I, I feel like it's more of a overwork and underpaid kind of situation. You're pouring too much into something and you're not getting as much back. <laughs> the struggle is real, apparently, and it's doing us a disservice. However, Justice, cause and effect. It's where are you putting your energy and why? Because you're getting the same amount of stuff out as um, you're, well, not as you put in, but um, cause and effect. You know, if you put your energy in the wrong area, you're not going to get your desired results. Put not enough energy in, you still won't get the right results, cause and effect. So, where's the area you've been struggling? Where's all the obstacles? What's not going your way? Um, as I said, it kind of feels like overworked and underpaid that you're putting too much work into something that uh, really is not panning out. This could literally just be your job. Maybe things are really tough at work right now and you're all work and no play. So it's that work-life balance issue. So something's out of whack and we need to rebalance because you're being called to look underneath the surface right here. You're being asked to take a deeper look in that area to get a fresh start because there's um, a better choice going forward. And I have to point it out of uh, work-life balance as well as the balance between your head and your heart because we have the Page of Swords, the Temperance, and the Page of Cups right here. Temperance being balanced between the two, the mind and the heart. So are you too much in your head? Are you all work and no play? Because that's a balance that we need to build on in order to be clear, to be focused, to um, go in the direction that we wish with our King of Swords here. So if we're wanting, if we're wanting a life where we have clear boundaries between our work life and our home life, for instance. We need to address the balance between um, work mode and play mode and build on that balance. That way we have law and order and distinct boundaries to where we're not all work, work, work all the time and no play. Hence the Three of Swords and our Ten of Wands over here. We're, we're struggling and there's too many burdens. We're juggling too much. Maybe we don't have any downtime. Priorities need to change. Perhaps our inner child has been neglected because we're too much in adulting mode that 
we can't shut off the adult or quiet the adult in order for the inner child to come out and play. And for those that might be far too much in your headspace, uh, have you done anything creative? Have you done anything um, new? Have you done anything to feed you your inner child? Have you done anything that counts as, you know, fulfilling a dream or anything to that effect? Have you watched a movie that made you cry? You know, have you engaged your emotions? Have you started new friendships even? Is your mind and your heart out of whack? Are you all work and no play? Justice, we need to rebalance. Also cause and effect. Um, if we're putting too much in one area and not the other, then you can't, you, you can't be uh, surprised by some of the results you get, this Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Life is about balance, maintaining and um, adjusting to have balance and being centered, being grounded. Um, this is definitely a day to make adjustments or at least acknowledge areas that we're being called to take a deeper look that need to be adjusted in the near future or over the next period of time. Granted, we're in an eclipse window. Eclipse season lasts usually for six months. So we're, um, if this is eclipse energy, which is funny because we literally have an eclipse right here on the judgment card. For those of you that are not familiar with this deck, there is an eclipse on it. <laughs> funny enough, they led me towards that energy. But uh, eclipse season usually lasts six months. We just had a solar eclipse. We're approaching a lunar eclipse. So we're definitely smack dab in the middle of the eclipse window. So this may be something that you need to acknowledge and then work on over the next six months. This doesn't have to be for just today. So fair warning on that. All cards add up to 125, which ultimately reduce to eight power. So where are we putting our power? Where are we putting our energy? Like I said, it balance balance we have balance cards things we need to work on all work no play too much in your head not in not in your heart I mean I can't make it any clearer than that let me double check the astrology for you first quarter moon in Leo adjustments required over the next week that allow you to have more fun and to get away from work and chores or you work no play there you go um, you may be creative with adjustments and take a positive approach to them. Like I said, adjustments. Uh, moon enters Leo. Just as moon enters Leo, not the fact that it's the first quarter. Uh, make time for the people you love, places you love, things you like to do in healthy, positive ways. This can help you connect more to your heart. Right there, connections. Okay, so head and heart at war. All work, no play. These are the things I definitely picked up on, and the astrology also plays into that very well. Um, be mindful that this is not just for this time period. The astrology uh, states over the next week, but they drew me to the karma card. So, eclipse window. This is something to work on for the next six months. Find your center. Find your balance. Reprioritize between the two. Make sure you have fun. Make sure you're feeding both your mind and your heart. Make sure that you have balance in these areas. All right, my lovelies. Hope, hopefully some of this resonated for you. If it does, uh, feel free to let me know how that resonated. Also, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.